So we've been building this FPS game inside of Unity and if you've noticed we are currently missing a playable map as we can clearly see in here and that is exactly what we're going to do in today's video. Okay so to build a actual map I'll show you some cool tricks that I found while I've been building my game around. So if you go into package manager and uh, I'll link this down in the video description but what you are going to need is this package and this package alone. So I'll download this and I will be right back. Okay so here we are. I've imported completely everything and I'm currently getting this single error in here. If you're getting the same error just go into this mint drawer C sharp script, open it up and add in these lines in here. So you all you have to do is add in unity engine dot mint attribute. We're going to have to do the same thing for these two. And if we save that up, go back into unity, we're going to see we have no errors. OK, so now let's begin on building the actual map. OK, so here we are in a brand new scene. And the first thing that we are going to do is create a terrain okay so usually in video games the terrain that we walk on is not actually that big i'll just go in here and resize it to something more reasonable so maybe 200 by 200 that is plenty big enough so the next thing that we're going to do is actually go into the terrain and paint paint in some textures right away. So I'll just open up my paint textures and in here where we see the terrain layers, we just want to add a layer, maybe something like this. Here is our base layer. Next, we can keep on adding these layers. So in order to add our buildings around, we are going to need a couple of things. So first, we are going to go into the prefabs. And we're going to navigate into building prefabs. So here are all the prefabs and all we're going to have to do is just drag this and drop it into somewhere into our scene. And here we are. We have our first building in our scene. So usually we need some walls and I'd like to add some walls first. Okay, so a quick tip when laying out your walls or maybe your buildings even is when you grab in your modular piece like this wall for example and you drop it in your scene make sure that these positions are sort of whole numbers so i'll just reset this for now and i'll go into the top view right here so if you want this wall to be obviously longer what you, what you would have to do is just duplicate this and just drag it across so usually you end up with something like this maybe some overlapping walls or maybe even gaps in the wall. So a way to fix that, or should I say a way to make your workload more easier is to just go into your move tool and then click on global and center in here. Then what you can do is toggle on grid snapping right here. And also you can, you can just adjust your grid sizes in here. I'll just leave it one for now and I'll go into the top view one more time. So now what I'll do is I'll just select this wall duplicate it and just drag it across so here it is now the wall looks a little bit longer and it has no gaps in it as whatsoever uh, so i'll make something that looks a little bit more natural and i'll be right back
Okay, so here is the final result that I came up with. So it's a very small map, but it's kind of made to showcase the power of this single asset to create a full-on map. So here is the map. Here is the gameplay with the map. And uh, all I have to say is enjoy and thank you for watching.